right, so here we have Silk, Wilderness Adventures on the Ancient Silk Road for Nintendo Switch. So we got how to play, so pretty pretty basic controls. You have advisors, you have a roster, movement, and all this other stuff. So it's a it's an old school style point and click game. Uh, that's really what it is. We're gonna go ahead and do uh, continue. Or I guess not. I guess I don't have <laughs> I don't have a saved game. Okay, that's fine. Why can I not? Okay. Huh. Okay. Oh, that's cool. It crashed. Let's do do not do not share. Let's try that again, guys. That was weird. I couldn't do a new game, and I was just wondering why. Apparently, it crashed. Okay, I guess I will not be reviewing this game. It does not want to uh, play at all. That's really cool. All right, hang on. Okay, so I've re-downloaded it. Let's see if this will do the trick. If not, I'm going to give up. Okay. Nope, this game is totally broken on my Switch Lite. And I have no idea why. Alright, I got one more shot. Hang on. Okay, alright. So I got installed on my original Switch. And we're going to see if this works. Okay, this works. Not sure what's happening with the other one, but okay. All right, so yeah, again, Silk is a uh, first-person um, adventure game, something like like uh, the old uh, Dungeons and Dragons games, games like that, or dungeon crawlers. So you've got three different. Characters you can choose from to be. Um, I might just choose one randomly here. New journey. Okay, so. Choose your hero. I'm going to go with the Rambo-looking guy. Choose your companion. Oh, let's see. Well, so this guy here. Uh, let's see. Here's a Pathfinder from Bactria with very good wayfarer skills. This has been good with rituals and fair with trade. Sure, why not? I like the music. The music's kind of nice. Alright, to start out in front of this town. And I can't actually do anything yet. Oh. Duh. Okay, so X. So turn left and right with the left and right. Jump to inventory with down. And exit with X. Okay, so. 
So yeah, controls like uh, like you're on a grid, kind of the old style games used to do back in the day. I do like the voice acting. Voice acting is a nice touch. Okay, but we're going to train with A. Okay. Allow the driver to assist us. We risk getting the bad deals in an auction. Many animals, are brought, many animals are brought here to be auctioned for silver. We can auction our own livestock here when we need to. Okay. All right, so that's... Yeah, that's what we've got in our caravan. All right, so we got 1,200 provisions, 75 silver, 40 spices, 8 silk, 20 wool, and 40 horses. Okay. So can we... Ready for trade, okay. All right, so we can't trade yet. All right, so. So the D-pad with analog stick to move. Um, I prefer the D-pad just because the analog stick feels really weird with this type of game. We can have higher ground a bit easier. Different ourselves should be attacked. There's a beauty to the mountains, but there is no way I'm leaving the safety of our camp. All right, so you're gonna make a choice. Do you want to take higher ground, or do you want to go ahead and stay in the camp? Where do you take higher ground? All right, so it looks like we lost some uh, some provisions. Well, that's okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Stand firm and draw your bows. The rough terrain will not favor an assault by either side. Let me slip away into the mountains and sound a horn. The echoes will confuse them. I don't think echoes are going to confuse anyone. So we're going to go ahead and just use the bows. The Parthian Brigade brigands are defeated. We should follow them to their camp and raise it to the ground. Our forces have scattered the Parthian raiders. Let me pick up their trail and we can pay them back by plundering their camp. So, should we plunder the camp or should we uh, follow or okay, plunder the camp or burn the camp to the ground? Let's do plunder the camp. Hey, look, we got some stuff. Awesome. And we're going to continue on. Ooh. Camels. Can we... Cool, all right. Beware of chasing camels near the mountains. Ambushers could take advantage of our lowered guard. If I flank these wild camels, I may be able to drive one towards a caravan. That we might capture it. All right, let's try to capture a camel. Hey, we got a camel. Awesome. Okay. Continue on. Oh. Hey, we got another camel. <laughs> All right. All right, camel higher ground. Why not? Cool. We didn't get ambushed or anything. Let's see. Santa Stone. Okay, and let's. That's the map. Let's keep going this way towards the camels. Uh oh, okay. 
Draw your bows. Yes. Okay, we should follow them to their camp. We're gonna put them to the camp again. Hey, look, more stuff. Awesome. All right, got some good stuff. And keep going this way. I think there's a town up here. Um, it's actually the most I played the game. I don't really play these games all that much. Um, I thought that's going to be. I thought this was going to be a different game when I actually decided to review it. Um, but it's an alright game. That takes me back to the games of yesteryear. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's look for an advisor. Right, so I hired somebody for... Can we trade with anyone? So we've hired a couple different people. Okay. I'm done hiring people. All right. Can we trade? What's in here? Let's see. Sure. So, yeah, let's enter the game, guys. Uh, now, sure, they're adventuring, kind of picking your way through the game, choosing what you want to do. Uh, if you guys like the old Dungeon Growing games, this is definitely a game worth checking out. Definitely quite a bit of fun. Let's see, let's do. We go straight through the desert. Oh. Yes. We got some stuff there. All right, so this has been Silk, being played on Nintendo Switch. Um, if you guys want the game, definitely worth checking it out, picking it up. Uh, link to the game for purchase or to check out will be in the description down below, as always. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Until next time, take care and happy gaming.